Signs that your air compressor is overheating. If your air compressor behaves abnormally, there is no doubt a problem is, in all likelihood, arises from heating issues. Let's discuss what are the five major signs that your air compressor is overheating. 1. Compressor doesn't turn on. If the compressor doesn't start as normally it used to, there is definitely something wrong with the machine, that could be because of a heating issue. If the compressor is taking longer time to start between each cycle, the reason might be the internal components are probably taking more time, to cool down between each cycle. Likewise, if the machine stalls during startup and ultimately takes longer to get into full operational mode, this is probably due to heat degraded internal mechanisms. The first thing you need to do is turn off the compressor. If you know how to diagnose the compressor, try to do. If not don't fool around you might make it even worse. Try to call expert and let him diagnose. This is a situation where you may end up facing a repair or replace decision. A failed compressor can be very expensive to fix. If your system is aging, or if your compressor is very old, it may not be worth investing the money in the repair. 2. Circuit breaker tripping. In an air compressor, the current flow is regulated by the circuit breaker, which stops the flow when necessary as a protective measure for the performance and quality of the machine. If the circuit breaker acts irregularly and trips at seemingly random moments, this is a telltale sign that bigger problems lurk inside the compressor. When circuit breaker trips frequently, don't reset it again and again. Your circuit breaker is doing its job, and protecting you from a potential fire hazard. You're probably wondering what's going on, and if there's an easy solution. Do you need to call someone to fix the problem and if so, who should you call? The service company, or an electrician? Here's the most important thing to know, circuit breaker is a safety switch that protects your equipment, from damage by turning off the power when an overload is detected. It also protects your safety, since overloaded circuits can result in a fire. So, if circuit breaker keeps tripping repeatedly, this is not a situation you should ignore. So, what to do when circuit breaker trips repeatedly? As we just mentioned, never keep turning it back on, if the circuit breaker keeps tripping. Sometimes, something like a lightning strike, nearby can cause a one-time power surge that trips the breaker, and you'll be fine once you turn it back on. Here are the steps to take when your circuit breaker trips. 1. Turn the compressor off. 2. At your electrical panel, turn the circuit breaker switch to the on position. 3. Wait few minutes, and be sure the compressor is off. Usually you can see a small LED light inside that indicates power on. And 4. After waiting few minutes, start compressor on. If you're lucky, everything will work normally after this and the circuit breaker won't trip again. You're all set. However, if the circuit breaker immediately trips again, or it won't come back on, you have a problem that needs to be diagnosed and repaired by a professional. But what if your system seems to work okay for a little while, but then shuts off and trips the breaker again? If that happens, there's one more thing you can try. Changing your air filter. When your system filter is clogged with dust and debris, the fan motor must work harder and runs longer trying to draw air through the filter. In an attempt to do so, it may draw too much electricity and cause the circuit breaker to trip. Try replacing the filter to see if that makes a difference. 3. Oil related.
related issues. An air compressor could emit noises or smells indicating oil erosion. If you can hear faint creaking noises from the machine that seem out of the ordinary, it could be a matter of insufficiently lubricated internal parts. A more clear-cut indicator of oil trouble is when an air compressor smells of burnt oil. Either way, the issue should be inspected immediately, as insufficient lubrication and poor oil quality can have a domino effect on the internal mechanisms of an air compressor. Check the oil. Oil is used to reduce the friction, heat, and wear between mechanical components that are in contact with each other. Check the level of oil, and make sure it is filled as required. 4. Accelerated wear. When an air compressor starts to wear down at an accelerated pace, there is likely a more serious matter at hand. For example, if the machine exhibits performance issues just weeks after it was last serviced, something was probably not evaluated, be it a problem with the oil, the vents, the refrigerant or the condenser parts. If the air compressor is long before its time, and yet already failing to handle basic demands, there could easily be an issue related to overheating. This needs to be fixed as soon as possible, as it diminishes the durability of the compressor, and if not fixed immediately your compressor will eventually runs into a situation, where more components might fail, and you have to replace the entire compressor. And 5. Noisy operation. Does your compressor sound a lot louder than usual, or making strange noises you haven't heard before? These symptoms of compressor failure can happen due to failing electrical components, or even a fan motor that has become dislodged and is rattling around inside. However, you should have it fixed before strain on the system leads to compressor failure. If you are not a trained electrician or service technician, you don't want to be attempting to fix these issues yourself. However, it's good to know that this might not be a very expensive fix. Always remember, in an industry, if you are unable to fix the problem, and you think it might take long, just try to call skilled professional and fix it as fast as possible. Because the machines that rely on compressed air, have to stop, because of insufficient air and that is a loss to the industry. So, it's always good to stay one step ahead, check your air compressor regularly, as this could prevent compressor from failing, reduces downtime if your compressor failed. Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe.